So welcome everyone. My name is Sheriff Dave Robinson, the Kings County Sheriff. And uh, today we're here to honor Alan Shara and his family and, and have a signed dedication for the 41 freeway. Um, as we get the, the process started, I'm gonna ask for some cooperation here a little bit, obviously with the noise levels. Um, I would like to start it off with the Pledge of Allegiance, and I know that requires everybody standing again, but let's get started with the Pledge of Allegiance. Everybody please stand. And then just join me in the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing. Good job. <laughs> I'm going to ask the uh, chaplain to come up and, and give us an invocation. Chaplain Jeff Milhan, please. Jeff here. There you are, Jeff. Thank you. Pray with me. Father, this, is, uh, this has been a long time coming, and so we are grateful, first of all, for a chance to again uh, honor the life of Deputy Shara and for his uh, commitment to this community. We're also grateful as a community, as a, a group of people, to be able to uh, establish in a more permanent way a remembrance for him and for his family. So, uh, God, we're grateful uh, for this day. Uh, thank you for uh, just the process that was involved in making it happen. And then, God, uh, my prayer is that your presence would be uh, here with us uh, this morning as we have this celebration uh, to honor uh, Deputy Sharp. Uh, bless this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Okay, everyone, please be seated. Thank you everyone for coming. We're here today to honor Deputy Alan Thomas Shara. He was born on March 26, 1968. He was appointed to the Kings County Sheriff's Office on April 8, 1999. His end of watch occurred on December 27, 1999. On December 27, 1999, Kings County Deputy Alan T. Shar was responding to a call in a field from another deputy for a backup unit. The other deputy called for assistance after he found a vehicle in the field that he believed may have been used in a sexual assault crime the previous night. Shar had Luis Verdugo, a 50-year-old sheriff's explorer, in the vehicle with him. When he suddenly came onto an unmarked 90-degree turn, his patrol car flew off into a dirt road and slammed into the other side of the canal bank near Stratford. Deputy Shara died on impact. Explorer Verdugo was hurled through the windshield upon impact. He suffered two broken ankles and a lacerated liver. I'm pleased to announce that he is here today and will be speaking. Verdugo climbed back into the patrol car to radio for medical assistance. Obviously we know the uh, fateful outcome that occurred that day and over the next week to 10 days services were planned um, to honor Deputy Alan Shara. Hundreds of law enforcement officers turned out in Hanford for the church and graveside services on January 4, 2000 to say their goodbyes. In his eulogy, Sheriff Ken Marvin, who's also here today, thank you Sheriff Marvin, spoke of Shara's exuberance, which he first experienced when he interviewed him for the job. Marvin said it was obvious that the prospect of being hired as a full-time law enforcement officer was so exciting to him after I gave him the job, he must have thanked me dozens of times. From then on, he would volunteer for anything that would keep him in that uniform a little bit longer. Marvin ended his speech by telling Char's family to remember that their son, father, and husband should be remembered as a hero and stating he will not be forgotten. Those words echo very true today. Char was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, joined the U.S. Navy immediately after graduating from high school in 1986. He served an avionics mechanic until August 1995, stationed at Lemoore Naval Air Station. He continued his service to his community and country as a sergeant in the Army National Guard. Shar continued his education at West Hills College from 1991 to 1994, where he had majored in administration of justice and probably most importantly, met his wife, Gina. He began his law enforcement career in 1993 as a reserve police officer with the city of Huron. Sheriff hired uh, Alan Shar on April 8, 1999, after graduating from the academy. He worked patrol in Hanford Lamore areas, and his radio call sign was Henry 327. I personally met Alan Shar at our headquarters one day after he had first started. I had only been on the job about four months. I'm, I'm sorry, four years. The thing I remember the most was his smile and how you could see the enthusiasm 
he had for his new adventure in life. He wore his uniform with great pride. I was currently assigned as an investigator at the time uh, to our multi-agency gang unit, and even though he was new to us, it was very obvious to me that you could tell from his experience at Huron Police Department, he knew gangs and knew them well, and he was quick to share gang members' information with whom he had had contact with while on patrol. Alan Shar's death was the first modern era line of duty death for us in the Kings County Sheriff's Office history, with our last line of duty death dating back to around the 1890s. At the time of his death, his survivors were his wife, Gina, his daughter, Melissa, son, Richard, and stepson, Carl Hatfield, his parents, James and Anna Shara, stepmother, Robin Shara, and stepsister, Paula. One week from today, we'll mark the 20th anniversary, and it's my honor and privilege to be a part of this dedication ceremony. I would like to introduce uh, Senior Deputy Nate Ferry, who's also the Deputy Sheriff's Association President, and have him come up and share a few words. Um, I can't thank Nate enough for everything he's done this year to make sure that this event occurred today. And there's obviously others who will be thanked today as well. But a special thanks to Nate. Please come up, Nate. Good morning, everyone. Wow, what an excellent turnout. You know, when you're planning an event like this, you don't know what kind of turnout you're going to get. And this is amazing. And I know that the Gina and the Shar family appreciate the support. I know the Sheriff's Office does, and I know the DSA does. Uh, it's truly uh, a wonderful day to honor Alan's life and his memory. Uh, so I want to spend a few moments, and I want to tell a story of how this event came to fruition. An event like this doesn't happen by waving a magic wand. It takes a lot of people stepping up and donating time and resources to make this event happen. And so I have a lot of folks to thank, and I think to do that right is just to tell the story. It makes the thank you more memorable, I believe. Um, so it starts about a year and a half ago. Gina Shara messaged our DSA Facebook page, which I helped to run. And she and I began exchanging messages back and forth. And we were able to relate very quickly. I was able to tell her that Alan died my first day of patrol. He died during the day I came to work that night, and it's a scene that I'll never forget. I only met Alan one time, and that was the week prior. Uh, I walked in, brand new kid, fresh out of the academy, walked in the squad room, and Alan was there with a bunch of other deputies, and everybody started teasing us that we were both so short, <laughs> making fun of us and cracking jokes. And One guy had to stand back to back to see which one was taller. I don't recall who was taller, but I do recall fondly that People were laughing and having a good time. And it appeared to me that, uh, looking back, that Alan had the gift of making people laugh. So as we continued to message back and forth, Gina mentioned that she'd always wanted a highway dedicated to Alan. And immediately I knew that was a great idea and had to happen. But at the moment, I didn't know how to do it. So I went and met with Sheriff Robinson, ran it by him, and he also agreed it was a great idea. And he sent me and put me in touch with assembly member Rudy Salas' staff. And I began exchanging emails back and forth with his staff. Um, and then they offered um, a resolution, ACR 38. Uh, it passed through the assembly and the Senate unanimously and became law somewhere around July of this year, I believe. From there, the project moved to Caltrans. And I began working with Nicholas. He sent me a list of potential contractors to build the signs and to install the signs. When I showed that list to one of my board members, Senior Deputy Cole Souza, uh, and he had a friend of his that worked for KRC Safety in Visalia. He reached out to his friend. Next thing I know, Josh Pittman, one of their employees, is calling me, and they were very eager to take on this job. Initially, I had thought I was going to have to, DSA would have to raise $5,000 to $7,000 to make this happen. I was a little worried about that, a little nervous, because anytime you have to ask for money, it can be a little difficult. I was in the middle of drafting the um, donation request letter when I got a phone call from Josh. And KRC Safety's owner, Mr. Gary Castro, um, is very pro-law enforcement and wanted to cover the entire cost of the signs and the installation. It was a huge blessing. From there, it was a matter of now trying to figure out where to hold this event and all the little fine details of the speakers. And 
I began working with Chris Com Company uh, and Chuck, Carol, and Jason. They are phenomenal to work with. Uh, and they helped to plan this event that we're enjoying today. They're the ones providing the refreshments from uh, the Downrange Coffee Company uh, here from Lamar. And they helped to plan the speakers and the flyers and all the information that went out. And it was during that time I contacted uh, Valerie here at the Fleet Reserve uh, to see if they'd be willing to host this event. Not only were they willing to host it, they were also willing to waive their facility fees to uh, facilitate this event today. So I tell this story because law enforcement, we get a lot of negativity from a lot of different angles. Um, and I think this event and hearing this story of all these individuals and companies that have stepped up to make this event possible uh, shows that we have a lot more people for us than that are against us. And I think we should all be very encouraged um, by that. Um, another blessing that happened was um, one of our other board members, Mr. Aaron Barristow, reached out to um, Mr. and Mrs. Bill Perry. Uh, Francis Perry, his wife, runs, helps to run the uh, Home to Sweet Hilton here in Hanford. And they agreed to host Gina. Also, another blessing um, for this event. Um, so, with that, I really want to have some thank yous, obviously. Um, I thank the sheriff for his support. It's been amazing helping to direct me in the right places. Uh, to thank Assembly Member Rudy Salas for offering ACR 38, thank you for that. Um, I have to thank Valerie and the Fleet Reserve for hosting us, it's a great facility and we really appreciate it. Uh, Josh and Gary from KRC Safety, you guys are amazing. Uh, the signs turned out phenomenal. They're already up um, on Highway 41. Uh, they're between Lansing and Lincoln, so if you guys get a chance, drive by there and take a look. They turned out really, really well. Um, and most of all, I have to thank Gina Shara. Gina, if you had not reached out to our page, if you had not suggested this, we would not be here today. So thank you for allowing the DSA to play a role in this. It's been an absolute honor and a privilege to make this possible today. Thank you. So with that, uh, God bless everyone. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. I'd like to ask the Assemblyman Rudy Salas to come up. He was instrumental this year in making this happen, and we just really appreciate you putting forth the effort. And I know when I reached out to you, you're like, heck yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And so thank you, Assemblyman, and, and we welcome you today, and thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. So good morning, everyone. Thank you guys for attending uh, this morning. And just first, I guess, first let me begin because Nate said something that I think is uh, really important in terms of how people view law enforcement. And I can tell you that despite the negative headlines, that especially in this community and here, I know everybody, every law enforcement officer, everyone that puts on the uniform, every first responder, just know that we sincerely appreciate and respect the work that you guys do. I mean, we just truly do because without you, it would be chaos. And the law, the order that you provide, the service you provide to our community, I think is just unsurmountable, the amount of work that you guys do and what you guys really need. So I do want to say thank you for that, and you know, Dave, thanks for bringing that up, because I think it's very important that we remember and appreciate the work that they do. Um, I'll just continue with the story. You know, this is, I believe, this is the fifth uh, memorial sign dedication that I have now had the honor to actually offer. Right, when you go up to Sacramento and you go up to the Capitol, it's, you know, it's, I always tell people everything is a challenge. <laughs> Nothing is ever easy. But when you have things like this and people that have dedicated their lives to, to our community, it makes it worthwhile, right? It, it, it gives meaning to what we do up in the Capitol. And so when the sheriff approached me and Nate and everyone talked to me about, hey, we have to get this done, I was completely on board. I was like, absolutely, anything we can do, we want to be there to help, right? So I wanted to just share some of the things that are actually in the Assembly Concurrent Resolution. Uh, some of it, uh, the sheriff covered already, but you know, some of the, I just want to highlight some of the things. It says, you know, today we honor the honorable actions and enduring legacy of uh, public service of Sheriff Deputy Shara on this, the 
20th anniversary year of his passing of California State Legislature's designation of the portion of State Highway 41 uh, here in Kings County. Um, I'd like to share some of the highlights from ACR 38. You know, sh the sheriff, uh, although he was a native son of Pennsylvania, we like to think of him as one of our own, especially when you start hearing the story of him joining the Navy right after high school. Uh, he was an avionics uh, mechanic stationed aboard the USS Tripoli, and thereafter in the California Naval Air Station right here in Lamar. Uh, from 1991 to 1994, he also attended West Hills Community College, where he met Gina, his future wife. Uh, after that, I think one of the things we did touch upon was he began his law enforcement career as a reserve police officer for the city of Huron in 1993. And following his honorable discharge from the Navy in August of 1995, he continued his service to his community and country as a sergeant in the National Guard. And it says, whereas Deputy Sheriff Shar graduated from the Coast Basic Peace Officer Academy at the College of the Sequoias in December of 1998, and on April 8, 1999, he was hired by the Kings County Sheriff, uh, Ken Marvin, as Deputy Sheriff assigned to control the Hanford and Moore areas. In which capacity he consistently distinguished himself through his willing volunteer volunteerism and dedication. He was a nine-year veteran of the U.S. Navy and wholly committed, much respected law enforcement officer. At the time of his passing, Deputy Shara was all, the only the second officer from Kings County Sheriff's Department to have lost his life in the line of duty since the, post uh, since the department's inception in 1893, right? I'd like to thank Sheriff Robinson, obviously, for reaching out and making sure that we got this done. You know, I'm just gonna leave this, but I'm just gonna say that they always say that a life that is lived in service lives on. A life that is lived in service lives on. And today we are honoring what his service was, what it means to us. And we're doing that through the memorial dedication, through the, si through the highway sign. So what we're hoping is as people pass that on Highway 41, that they start asking, who was Alan? What did he do? What did he do for our community? And there's a lot of us here today, I'm hoping that we'll all share his story. The story of, I know we'll hear from Luis later, but Right? He was even reaching out to the explorers. He was involved in our community, and I think that's why we see him as one of our own. And so I was just uh, honored to be the author of ACR 38 to allow this. And so, uh, Gina, if you may, I'd like to present, maybe I'll invite the senator as well, if we could present a resolution that contains some of the language from, the, from ACR 38 that was passed in the legislature. So if you'll please join me. I'd love to present this to you. And this is part of the resolution, so if you're going to join us. So thank you. Thank you for being here. And uh, thank you to the Shar family for, for being here as well. You know, it was an honor to carry this legislation. And you know, we just have a lot of love and a lot of respect uh, for what your husband did and what he means to our community. So thank you very much. Thank you. Officers are 
are friends, they're not your enemies. They are here to protect and to serve uh, not only me, but you as well and our entire community. And so, um, you know, further working on the Senate resolution, it also made me think about Gina. And it made me think about his daughter, Melissa, and his son, Richard. And the sacrifice that our public safety officers do, that Deputy Chara uh, did for his community, it really stretches beyond them. It stretches into the commitment that also their loved ones have in, in um, supporting their, their loved ones and being in these roles. And so um, it's, it's such a, a sacrifice for the family as well. And I really wanted to also take this opportunity to thank you, Gina, for, for your sacrifice and supporting your husband and his commitment to our community. And so with that, I really want to uh, thank you once again and uh, also present to you a resolution that we have here. So this is in honor of uh, your husband, Deputy Shara, for his commitment and your commitment and in memory of everything that he has done for our community and uh, his memory will forever be with us. Thank you. Thank you. and Senator Hurtado. We really appreciate you coming today and making, making the effort. <coughs> much appreciated. Next, I'd like to ask Luis Verdugo to come up and, and say a few words. Luis, I hadn't seen Luis in about 10 years, and so it's great to see you and great to have you here today. We really appreciate you coming, and, and we can't wait to hear from you. So come on up, Luis. Thank you.
was thankful that uh, his name is going to be on the road to see for people, people to see. So, yeah, so thank you. Thank you for your time. Assemblymember Solace, Senator Hurtado, Nate Ferrier, Luis Verdugo, and Gina, and whoever you want from the family to come up, and we're going to do the sign of the bill. If you want the whole family, to bring them all up. <laughs> I think we should get a photo, maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's a little bit lower than the sign a little bit. 